So now we're going to look at some of the treatment methods that are available for IBS and IBD. And there is some overlap here because we're going to look at a lot of the same symptoms. And a lot of these natural health ingredients have been studied for both conditions or can be related to both conditions. The four keys is one, looking at inflammation, two, looking at gut dysfunction and the gut's ability to be able to work properly. Three is looking at immune activation and supporting a healthy immune system. And this can in turn be affected by infections. And four is psychological factors, more specifically looking at anxiety and depression. The first one we're gonna look at is inflammation. And this is something that is very important for both. Extremely important for inflammatory bowel disease because it's very, very prevalent. And there is a chronic subclinical inflammation that we can see present in IBS, especially in the gastrointestinal tract. The gold standard anti-inflammatory that I would use is Boswellia as number one. In a study done in people with ulcerative colitis, 82% of Boswellia patients in the study went into remission while only 75% using sulfazalazine, an anti-inflammatory medication, also known as 5-ASA, went into remission. Boswellia is one of the top three things recommended for as a complementary alternative therapy in Germany for IBD. It's reported about 36% of German patients who have IBD are actually using it. The keys to this ingredient is one, its ability to help control inflammation and work on many multiple different mechanisms, and two, may be able to help to support the immune system because it may have some antimicrobial properties. So we're looking at two of those key four things. The second key ingredient is curcumin. In a study given mesalamine or corticosteroids in combination with curcumin, the patients improved symptoms and allowed an actual decrease in their dosages. In a very small study, they showed that some patients were even able to stop taking their medication. Looking at curcumin and IBS, a study of over 200 people found reduction in abdominal pain and improvements in overall symptoms. And the keys with this product is very similar to Boswellia. Helps control inflammation, different mechanisms, but might have some antimicrobial properties as well. Let's look at these two together inside a combination in a product called Inflammation Relief. Inflammation Relief uses a highly bioavailable form of curcumin, a highly bioavailable version of Boswellia, and is also paired with ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a well-known adaptogenic herb that helps to stress and anxiety. And anxiety is very high compared to healthy controls in IBS and IBD. Now let's look at a product called Probiotic 3. Probiotic 3 has been studied specifically in patients with ulcerative colitis and helping to improve symptoms. In the study they did, about 45% went into remission and actually improved their microflora, so actually helping to correct some of this gut dysfunction, which would then in turn help with the immune system. Probiotic 3, or the combination of probiotic strains in this product, has been used in Japanese hospitals for C. difficile prevention. C. difficile can cause infectious colitis, a complication of ulcerative colitis, so important for this. Probiotic 3 also helps to support a microbial diversity and help provide fuel for the colonocytes or the cells that line our large intestine. And this is important for helping to correct gut dysfunction. Vitamin D is another key. Very important and well known as a necessity in autoimmune conditions. And IBD is an autoimmune condition. Also well known for its ability to help regulate the immune system. And when we're also looking at people with inflammatory bowel disease, we can see a deficiency in these people. As well, the more deficient they are, the worse symptoms get. Very important to be supplementing with vitamin D. There's also some evidence to believe that vitamin D helps promote a healthy intestinal mucosal barrier in patients with IBS. So helping to actually repair and re-stimulate that intestinal tract to be able to work properly and help correct gut dysfunction. Another ingredient to look at is Saccharomyces boulardiae, and this helps prevent relapse in Crohn's and ulcerative colitis with moderate symptoms. Also helps to reduce the number of bowel movements and consistency in people with IBS. Very similar symptoms we see in both conditions. Also helps with C. difficile because it contains some antimicrobial properties towards this. Also shown in IBD to help reduce inflammation and improve the endothelial lining of the gastrointestinal tract. So helps to reduce inflammation helps with gut dysfunction, but also has some antimicrobial properties that are going to help support the immune system. Another important ingredient is fiber. I'm going to look more specifically at a product called Solufiber, which contains partially hydrogenated guar gum. 
Fiber is so important for both these conditions, IBS and IBD. One, it helps to regulate gut motility, so help with gut dysfunction, the symptoms that can be part of that, and also helps promote good bacteria and the growth of the good bacteria that can help correct our gut dysfunction. Partially hydrolyzed guar gum has been studied in reducing symptoms such as bowel habits and pain in people with IBS and also increasing bifidobacter in the gut, which is a very important probiotic species found in our gastrointestinal tract. They also showed that it was better, better tolerated than wheat bran fibers. They've also shown in a small study when they combined PHGG with a drug called rifaximin, which is an antibiotic, it helped to slow the overgrowth of the small intestine by bacteria. And the drug actually worked better when it was in combination with this product. Other fibers like Facilium husk have been studied in IBD showing great improvement, shown to be as effective as mesalamine in terms of reducing remission rates. One of the problems with Facilium fiber is it is very husky, it is a soluble fiber, but there can be some irritation that does occur in the intestinal tract with people with IBD. Soluble fiber does not have the same grittiness, and it's also very soluble as well. We're going to look at L-glutamine. And L-glutamine is thought of as fuel for our enterocytes, so the cells that line our small intestine. And this is thought to help with their actual repair, so helping to repair gut function and improve the epithelial or the lining of our stomach. It's been shown in animal models to help accelerate mucosal healing and regeneration of the cells that line our tract. It has also been shown in a study, not people with IBD and IB IBS, to improve mood, anxiety, and depression. So working on that psychological aspect. The last product that I want to talk about here is called IBD Relief. And this is a really helpful product for people who suffer from inflammatory bowel disease, but also people who suffer from celiac. It contains an enzyme called ANPEP. And ANPEP helps improve nutrient digestion, especially proteins like those that are found in gluten, and also helps with the absorption of these things from the diet. Also contains anti-inflammatory herbs like ginger and boswellia. Boswellia, as mentioned previously, is probably one of the most best studied things that has been used in natural health for helping with inflammatory bowel disease. Helps induce remission in people who have ulcerative colitis and Crohn's. Ginger, helps reduce stomach inflammation, which we see a lot in people with inflammatory bowel disease. It also contains withania, which helps the body cope with stress, which is prominent amongst those with IBD or celiac, but it also helps support the immune system and helps reduce inflammation independent of the other ingredients. It contains a probiotic yeast called Saccharomyces boulardii, and this helps promote healthy intestinal flora. They've actually done studies with Saccharomyces in people with Crohn's showing that it helped prevent relapse. The last ingredient is vitamin D, and vitamin D is crucial for the immune system, especially crucial in people who have an autoimmune disorder like inflammatory bowel disease and Crohn's. It's an absolute must as well for celiacs. 64% of men and 71% of females with celiac disease are deficient. It also helps improve immune issues in people with inflammatory bowel disease, helps protect the intestinal barrier, and repairs the mucosal lining that has been damaged due to the inflammation in these diseases.